But if you close your eyes the whole ride was in French except the part where you come back and it's like you've just entered the Twilight Zone and then it like the whole storyline while you're on the ride is all in English so that was interesting I think you exit that way Daniel yeah yeah so now we're just exploring we really want to go on that Hollywood ride that's like the tram Hollywood ride that takes you all over but it's close right now so all right guys so now we're gonna go we'll shopping i did most of my shopping yesterday but i haven't really gotten anything for myself besides a pen so i'm going to oh and a shirt i got a shirt don't worry i'll do a video on all the stuff that i got here don't worry guys i got you don't worry if i've already uploaded it probably have but you know all right so guys so here we go into the shopping what's what's the artist yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so I don't know what this is. I think it's like a like a like a pastry pretzel of some sort with chocolate and this looks like some kind of nut. I don't know what kind of it is. Like candy nut. Mm, that's interesting. Alright. So I'm going to try it now, let's see. I think I'd rather get something else for the same price. So, 
I was like, it's okay. It's good, but it's like not gonna sit back. Maso Minas. Yeah, Maso Minas, yeah. Now we're heading back to the Hollywood tram, I think it's called. To, because we know, I don't know, the hall, yeah, there, we do cram tour. Does it look open? <laughs> People are running. I don't know if they mean if that means that it's open. But we're gonna sit by. They said they're not. They're at least gonna be open by by it's the like end. It's open. It's open. Yeah. It's open finally. Well, there we go, folks. It's open, and I'm excited for this ride because it's like the um, the one at Universal Studios. But it's with yeah. Well, get some popcorn? See you guys on the road. We'll find out. That looks a lot like Indiana. But shooting on location is not always practical. After all, not many cities will give you a permit for a tidal wave or an alien invasion. So today. Many filmmakers still use the controlled environment of a studio backlog, like the set you see here from the dinosaur production Dinotopia. The scenario describes a une ville féerique située au bord d'une somptueuse cascade. La voilà. Oui, la voilà. Ceci n'est que la partie du décor dont on a eu besoin pour filmer les acteurs, et tout le côté spectaculaire a été ensuite ajouté par des artistes en la matière, avec des hommes. Often visual effects artists armed only with imagination and powerful supercomputers. They also landed the story of the biggest stars, the dinosaurs. Si vous êtes déjà impressionné par la grandeur de ce plateau, imaginez un peu les loges des dinosaures. The effects department goes to work to create fire, explosions, and rain. Will you tell those computer guys to give it a break, please? We're talking about physical effects here. I'm sorry. Les images de sa thèse paraissent même parfois plus vraies que nature. Bravo. Do you recognize those famous movie stars? They're great to work with. They know the studio scene, they follow the direction, yeah, and they don't need makeup. Oh my god. Just a little bit of that.
Et la mauvaise, c'est qu'il s'agit d'un Londres ravagé par une horde de dragons. The beauty of a backlog is that you can turn a corner and be anywhere. London, for example. But London, as you've never seen it before, scorched by dragons. On a préféré utiliser un studio plutôt qu'endommager tout un quartier de Londres par les flammes que lancent de vrais dragons. Puis les dragons peuvent être des créatures si capricieuses. another park now so I'll see you guys like guys so we just got off Haunted Manor again and um well again I mean like just today for the first time but like we've done it multiple times like over the days and they closed it did they close it no they just closed it I was like boy okay anyway um yeah so now we are leaving Disneyland Paris unfortunately but I but I had a great time. We've basically done everything that we could. Um, the only thing is, we didn't have like any good food besides ratatouille. That was really good. And um, other than that, yeah, this is a fun, adventurous time. Uh, definitely be looking for that uh, video of uh, what called a merchandise that I bought at Disneyland Paris. Also be looking for that giveaway video because I'm doing a giveaway eventually. I don't know when, but I'm going to do one. And um, yeah, guys, so yeah. this comes to an end of our Disneyland trip. It's two wonderful days. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to sign out when we get a little farther. But um, yeah, so off we go, guys. Say goodbye to Disneyland Paris. Alright guys, I'm going to be ending the vlog here. Um, well, ending like the series of vlogs. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this vlogging, following along on my trip to Disneyland Paris and Paris um, vlogging. Uh, it was really fun. I still enjoyed my trip. It was like 100 out of 10. It was great. Um, I'll be talking about Disneyland Paris, what, other, what I thought about it and everything in other videos. Um, later in the series so if you want to check that out make sure to spread us with us over that subscribe button for more awesome videos in the future and uh and make sure to leave a like on all the video on the vlog videos how many i do i don't know but how many i do uh, make sure to leave a like on every single one of them and anyway guys i hope to see you guys in another disneyland vlog or disneyland video or whatever and i'm out